Today I want to talk about uniques in Diablo 4 and how to get them fast and how to get them easy. I've been making build videos and the number one question on every single video is how do I get this certain unique or I want to make this build but I don't have the unique. So I want to talk about how to get them easy because they're not they're not hard once you know what you're doing. I'm trying to make a werewolf build at the moment and I've got Tempest Raw, I've got Mad Wolf's Glee, I made a bear build the other day on my druid and you know I've got um, Insatiable Fury, Vasilis Prayer, Temerity. On my Sorcerer, I've got the main ones, you know, Raymond of the Infinite, Isop Brace, and you can target these and get them once you know what you're doing. I've seen some people uh, talk about this, but it seems very over-explained and I just want to make it really simple and to the point. So the way this works is certain mobs have a higher chance to drop certain items. So for example, if you're looking for a, a boot, a unique that's a boot, like the Pentient Greaves that leave the ice trail behind them, the Drowned have the highest chance of dropping that boot. If you're looking for a headpiece, say the, the Tempest Roar, the cultists have a highest chance of dropping that. And that's the best way to target these. And there's a specific tool you can use to farm these. I'll uh, I'll link it down below, but it's this one. And basically what you do is you type in, you, you search for the unique you want. So say you're playing Druid and you want the Tempest Raw. That, that's, that's something that a lot of people are looking for. It will tell you that these are the two types of things, two types of mobs that have the highest chance of dropping the Tempest Raw. And then it will show you the dungeons that you can go for that item. So you can see here, these can be Sigil dungeons. So these are like Nightmare dungeons. And then these have the highest density of mobs. And then these can be cleared fast. So in an ideal world, you want to be going to Serpent's Lair because it's got a lot of mobs. You can clear it fast and you want to be going for Earthen Wound. But then I would also go for Slums or Shadowed Plunge. But this is the best place to go to try and find this helmet. Uniques have a very, very low drop chance. And if you're just going to whatever key you have, you're just going to random Nightmare Dungeons or random dungeons. If you get lucky enough that a unique drops, it could be anything in the loot table. It could be a mixture of 15 different uniques. It's a really small chance that you get what you need. So your chance of getting the thing you want is really, really low. But if you target it, say your sorcerer, and you're going for the Raven of the Infinite, which I've seen a lot of people ask for, it says this best drops off beasts and spiders. So you should aim for, I'd go for Alderwood, Blind Burrows, and Golders Canals. That's that's what I'd go for. And, and Whispering Pines. They're your best ones that are going to be full of mobs. You can go in, farm them and have a really high drop chance. I tested this myself last night on stream as well. I'll link that down below if you want to come hang out. And we were looking for Tempest Raw and I just targeted, I basically just rolled keys over and over and over to try and get these. And the ones I got the most was Conclave and Serpent's Lair. So we just ran Conclave, Conclave and Serpent's Lair on repeat for like three hours probably. And both the Tempest Raw and the Vasilis Prayer dropped. I got two uniques in about four hours and it was both of them. So if you're looking for a specific unique, that is the best way to do it. If I wasn't targeting those two dungeons and two uniques dropped, it could have been anything. It could have been anything from the loot table. It could have been this, it could have been this. It could have been something that I've already got. So this is hands down the best way to do it. The best thing I would suggest is, is you go over to the occultist in the town and you you go to the, uh, the, the sigil, the sigil crafter, and you, you get rid of any aspects, that, you get rid of any sigils that you don't need. So you just bin off a few sigils that you don't need and then you you craft specific sigils. So say you're, you know, you don't need to push really high ones, but as you're doing this with the boost to Nightmare Dungeons, you're also getting huge experience, levels, Paragon points, Glyph experience. And I would just search for, say you're in the 26 to 30 range, just make like five of these. I've oh, even got space, yeah. Make five of these. There you go, there's Conclave. So if you're looking for the helmet, there's a Conclave one. Um, Earthen Wound, I don't know if that was one as well, maybe, maybe it was, I don't know. Yeah, Earthen Wound, see, we, we just rolled five keys and we got Conclave, and we got Earthen Wound. So if you were looking for these two items on your Druid, that's the best way to do it. You just go in, get it done, get out. And there's just such a higher chance that you get them. That's it. That's the best way to farm. But that's the video. I hope it helps. I also test all of this stuff on stream. We do a lot of build guides over there. So if you want to come hang out, I'll link that down below. We're currently working on a werewolf one. So, you know, testing the different aspects, testing the different Paragon boards, um, trying to find different items and uniques. So yeah, that's down below if you want to come hang out. Subscribe for more tips and guides, Diablo 4. But that's the video. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.